So what's happening at the moment is um, Graham Brady is speaking to Liz Truss. Um, obviously, he spoke to Liz Truss a couple of days ago. That was said to be a routine meeting. Uh, can't quite see why he'd need another routine mm. meeting with Liz Truss two days later. So there's a question over, is he, is he telling her to go? It, it looks like not. Um, the latest information is that Liz Truss actually called the meeting herself with Graham Brady. Um, but... It, it looks as though perhaps he's speaking to her about one source is saying that he's speaking to her about um, about a possible change in the rules. Uh, there's been talk over the last few days that obviously the, the, there only needs to be 15 percent of MPs to, to uh, say they have no confidence in the prime minister for it to go to a vote of no confidence. Um, but because trust has this grace period of one year since being taking office, that doesn't apply. There's talk that Graham Brady and the 1922 executive committee want to change that to if 50% of MPs say they have no confidence, then perhaps it wouldn't reach a vote at all. But in short, Graham Brady is running Liz Truss through where she stands right. with MPs now. And do we know what, what the understanding is about the number of letters that's oh. gone in? I mean, so Graham Brady keep, plays his cards very close to his chest, but there obviously there are people who, who sort of talk and whisper in the corridors. I mean, is it a substantial number? What it sounds like is it's it may be as high as a third. Uh, there was talk oh. of 50, 56, 57 a couple of days ago, but that's obviously gone up since then. Oh. Um, we've gone from the number sort of publicly declaring, obviously that's no indication really of how many privately have no confidence, but has gone from three to four, 12, 14 um, this morning. So it's a very, very fluid situation moving fast. Let me